Okay, so hello uh, and welcome. We're going to be discussing the Getting There app, which is a Denver metro area transportation application with Allie Mercer from Dr. Mac. So Allie, go ahead. All right, hi everybody. My name is Allie Mercer. I am the program manager for Dr. Mac, which is the Denver Regional Mobility and Access Council. Uh, so right now, our biggest project is Getting There, which is an app based on Dr. Mack's Getting There Guide, which is a resource that provides information about transportation in the nine-county Denver metro area. This app is the first of its kind in the country. Uh, it focuses on paratransit and local transportation options. It is currently available for download in Apple and Google Play stores, so it's available for iPhone and Android. And we are ironing out the bugs as we go, so we would love any feedback you have after using it. Um, so several things separate this app from other mobility management apps. The main draws of getting there are the geolocation feature. So if you are not sure where you are, you can ask it to locate you and it will do that for you. Um, it features wheelchair accessible ride options and it includes services such as volunteer driving programs and medical trip providers. So it's not just rideshare services or the like the RTD app, it includes everything. Um, our demographic is also unique as we are focusing on people with disabilities and older adults. And because of this, we have designed the app to be as accessible as possible using clean contrasting colors for those who may have trouble seeing and we are currently working on getting it ADA compliance certified by an outside organization. Uh, feel free to ask questions as I'm going, just put them in the chat box or you can do the raise your hand feature and I would be happy to answer them. I feel free to interrupt, it's totally okay. And I will go ahead and share my screen if that's all right, Judy. Yes, go right ahead. Great. All right, so again, the app is called Getting There, and if you search for that in the App Store, it should be the very first result. If you've never seen the Getting There guide, it is just a paper format resource that has information about regional transportation in the Denver area. So what this app is, is it is our paper getting their guide, but in digital form. And we will continue to update it as we get more resources. And we will keep doing this instead of the paper because if it's on your phone, you can also change the print size and things like that. So it makes it easier for people to use. And, oops. The app provides information about public transportation, such as RTD services, volunteer-based driving services, such as Via Mobility and uh, used, used to be Senior Resource Center, and also includes private options uh, if you need a medical ride that includes a stretcher. So this is the map of the nine county area that we serve. Um, so it is the Denver metro area, including Broomfield, Adams, Arapahoe, Denver, Douglas, Jefferson, Boulder, Gilpin, and Clear Creek. So if you are in any of those areas, we have something to offer for you, and it will be listed in the app underneath the county. And like I said, you can find it in the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store, and that is what the icon will look like. So if it has that icon, that is the correct one. So we carefully crafted this app in easy to read and see colors, trying to make it easy to see and navigate. You can also edit your trip while you are typing it in. So if you make a mistake, you don't have to start all over. Um, and again, it will be certified by a third party as a fully accessible ADA compliant app. So now we're gonna get into the actual app itself. Uh, this is where you start. The app will open on a screen and it'll ask you for your current or starting location as well as your destination. 
So if you see here, it says, where are you now? And there's a drop down menu where you select the county in which you're coming from. But if you don't know what county you're in, that's okay because the drop down menu also features an option that says, I don't know, locate me. And that's where the geolocation comes in. So the app can be able to tell you what county you're in, even if you aren't sure. So we also have some additional questions that are going to be answered. Um, they are optional, you don't have to answer them. Um, it is questions such as how old are you? Are you on Medicaid? Um, are you a veteran? And things like that. And again, they are optional in case you feel like that's too personal. We totally understand. But we believe that it really streamlines the process and it does provide the users with more resources that can serve their specific needs because some services are specifically for veterans or specifically for um, cancer patients or some, most of our services exclusively serve those 60 and older. So those questions just help us narrow down the results and help you to get applicable results. So you'll see in the results, there are these little symbols that will tell you some information about the resource that we are giving you. So there's obviously this icon, which means that the ride or the company features wheelchair accessible vehicles. So if you are in a wheelchair, you would be able to use those services. The little bus icon just means that this service is fixed route or public transportation, such as RTD bus services or trains. This little phone symbol just means that you should schedule your ride in advance with this company. So for most volunteer-based and some private options, you should definitely schedule the ride in advance, but this little icon will tell you if you need to do that. And then this dollar sign will let you know if the service costs any money. So these symbols will appear underneath the results, um, providing information without a bunch of words. So here's an example of what the results page will look like. And so based on your current location and where you are needing to go, the app will process the results um, and match what you need based on the location and whether or not you answered the optional questions. So here is where they will appear. It will, it will be in alphabetical order and here are the symbols as examples. Um, SE Lee has a little dollar sign next to it, which means that it will cost money. Freedom Cab as well. Um, American Cancer Society's Road to Recovery has the little phone next to it, which means that you would need to schedule it in advance and so on. And if you look at the top of the screenshot, there are also buttons to modify your current trip. So if you've made a mistake or if you've just decided you want to go somewhere different, you can click this button and it won't erase anything that you've put in there. It will just allow you to edit it. Or if you have completely decided that you don't want to take this trip or you don't need this trip anymore, you could click start over and it will just take you back to the beginning of the app where you can enter all new information. So this app does not provide transportation, it just provides the resources to get your transportation. So when you click on one of the results on the results page, it will pull up a drop down detail menu. So if I clicked on American Cancer Society from the previous menu, this is what shows up. So it gives a link to their website, their phone number, what counties they serve, um, what type of vehicles they have. So if they have wheelchair accessible vehicles, it will show up in here. Um, the services part lets you know what type of service this is. So for example, this is for cancer related medical appointments only. It is free, so there's no dollar sign icon. It shows their hours of service and the suggested time that you should schedule your ride in advance. And then in additional info, it just kind of gives you a little description of what the service is and how it's been helping people. 
So because this is a resource app, these probably are the most two important buttons, which will take you directly to the website, or if you click there, it will automatically call the service for you and they can take care of scheduling your ride. And that's all it takes. We are really looking for feedback on the use of this app. So if you guys try it out, we would love to hear if you had issues or if there's anything you wanna to suggest to us. I will put my email in the chat box below, um, but we would love to hear your feedback. Um, if you're interested in an in-person demonstration later in the year or a virtual demonstration such as this one, Dr. Mack is planning training sessions for any organizations or businesses related to older adults or people with disabilities. And myself or one of my team members will be able to give a demonstration of the app and how everything works. Um, are there any questions that I can answer? Yeah, how are you getting this information out to the community, the different neighborhoods? So we are crafting a press release right now, and we are going to have Judy share on the Senior Planet website and everything, and I'm making it my priority to schedule several uh, training sessions slash demonstrations in different communities and different areas to make sure that everybody has access to this app and knows how to use it. And so we are just making it a top priority to train anyone and everyone who wants to know about it and reaching out even when they haven't reached out to us. So Allie, with what you just did, this is just information about the app being there, but then you do a specific training session as well <laughs> where we would learn, we can learn to download the app and set it up and, and play around with it? Uh, now that it is in the App Store, yes. We are working on the best way to be able to show screen mirroring. So we are trying to figure that out. And as soon as we do, we are going to reach back out to everybody and ask if that is something that they would prefer. But we tried to include as many screenshots as we could in the presentation so you kind of see what it looks like. And since it is in the App Store now, I encourage everybody to give it a download and follow along if they would like, or just pull it up and play around with it. And again, I am about to leave my email in the chat box for any feedback. So I'd be happy to um, schedule a virtual training as well um, uh, at this time. So we can do that. Um, Allie? Are, are you, you planning to give are you planning to give this information to your council city council so that they yes. can get it out okay. yeah absolutely we are scheduling a training session with several different areas of the local government as uh like the area agency on aging and um types of organizations that deal with our client base as well so we are trying to get the there and make sure everybody is using this resource because it is very valuable. And so, so I'll it. make this recording available so you, you know, any of us can share it too. I'm sorry, Lori, go ahead. I didn't mean to talk over you. That's okay. Um, I Will you be sharing it with agencies such as Jewish Family Services and mm -hmm. specific agencies that deal mm -hmm. with clients that might need this? Yes, absolutely. We are working very hard on our contact list and making sure that we're reaching everybody possible in the Denver area, especially those who may use this service regularly. A suggestion would be to contact the library and see if they could get it on their website with a link. Yes, we are actually working on that as well. Yay! <laughs> um, we also included um, older adult LGBTQ organizations and specific immigrant and refugee populations. So we are doing our best to make sure that this resource is spread. Ellen, um, with uh, Dr. Cobb having tr the transportation with this, is it Skip Hop Drive? Hop Skip Drive, yes. Hop Skip Drive, I always get that wrong. Hop is first. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, is that uh, within this app? as well yes. 
Oh, great, great. Yes, so it'll give a little information about that service and it will include the phone number that will take you to the direct line for the Dr. Cog transportation program. And then they will get you all set up with the ride. Oh, perfect. Allie, this is Virginia uh, in New York. Um, this sounds like a well, well thought out app. Um, Thank you. And I commend you for that. Um, uh, are you reaching out to uh, AARP um, so that maybe they could run an ad in, in, in one of their magazines and then, you know, it's, it's out there because look at all the seniors that read AARP or are members. Mm -hmm. I just got my new membership card today. Yay. Uh, Yay. <laughs> so that might be something you, you, you might want to think about doing. I, I think that this is absolutely marvelous and I hope that it travels all around the country. There are actually several organizations in the western region of the country that have seen the work that we're doing and have gotten grants to do the same thing in their areas. So we are, yeah, we're spreading the word. We're very excited about this project. Great. Well, it would even be better. That's such a good idea, Virginia. It would be better if they did an article, especially yes. since Denver is one of the first and the fact that, you know, that's notable. And then the fact that, you know, other areas have looked to what Denver has designed, what Dr. Mack has designed, and then other cities could do the same. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah. that's, that's really, really great. Uh, and I think AARP was fresh on my mind because I just got my new membership card. But I, but I, <laughs> you know, I, I know that there are a lot of members. Uh, I take advantage of AARP for everything. You know, hey, listen, we paid our dues. Mm -hmm. This is ours. <laughs> Let's go Absolutely. get it. Absolutely. How about getting an, uh, a piece on the news? Yes. Is, uh, I am working with Kate to craft our official press release and everything. So all of these awesome ideas are going to follow once we have our official press release. And once we have worked out the bugs that we're finding along the way, since the app has only been out for a month, so we're just trying to make sure that it's the best possible form before we jump right into all of that. But we're very excited to do it when it is ready. Hey, you should have people, uh, uh, when they take the rides, uh, have somebody take a picture of them. Satisfied customer, thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Go ahead, I think Dave. That would be great. Yeah, I'm just, uh, one, one thing I was curious about is whether the app has access to the contacts on your phone. Uh, no, it does not. So that might be something we're thinking about because, you, you know, you normally would have to give permission for that, but that, you know, that might make it much easier for seniors because um, if you had a contacts option, they may very well have their doctors in their contacts. That would be a quick way to do a location or their awesome. home in your contacts. Yes, that is a great idea. I will write that one down. Thank you. You're welcome. See, this is like brainstorming. <laughs> <laughs> Loving it. Yeah, you know, we, we teach um, the ride sharing apps as one of the lectures uh, for Senior Planet. And I think it would be a good idea whenever, you know, we're teaching those, um, giving those lectures that we are able to each of, our, of the locations like New York or Colorado could tag on some of the local resources um, to that lecture to be able to say, you know, but in our area, you can add the following because there are free resources or very discounted resources for those of us over 60. And um, so it's, I think it's good to know that yes, uh, if, you, if you can pay, uh, fine, but some of them are, are also not based on your financial uh, <laughs> status. So, uh, you know, it, it depends what, what you know what where you are in the country and what your needs are but um, you know it's it's very interesting when we look to collect all the resources available 
for any topic, but in this case, we're talking about transportation. And when you, you know, you look at the issue of aging in place, which is mm -hmm. what most people say they want to do. And you know that you have at your fingertips a variety of, of, of choices. Yes. So, you know, and based on the set of, a set of circumstances at a particular moment in time, to know what the breadth of those resources are is fantastic. And to have it at your fingertips, like on a smartphone, um, is wonderful. So this way, you're not only looking at, you know, just, it's, it's, I guess the thing I'm trying to say is none of us know everything about each of these issues, you know, so it's kind of nice that, you know, as Senior Planet, we try to do our best to pull together these resources so that you do have a lot of options and not just what your friend told you next door mm -hmm. and they may not know much more than beyond one thing, right? Mm -hmm. So this gives you a real good variety for making the best decisions for your life at a certain time. And you know, sometimes we're perfectly fine and get in our car, we go uh, or you know, hop on the subway or whatever. And another time we sprained our ankle and we're not going anywhere by ourselves. Mm -hmm. So if, it's good to be prepared. Yes. Absolutely. And we do also have people contacting us all the time. Uh, some people who have attended demonstrations of the app or informational sessions have reached out to us and said, hey, we run a wheelchair accessible transportation company. Let's keep in touch. And we've been adding those resources to it. So it is an ever growing resource as people reach out to us and as we do more research and everything. So it's just, we're really proud of it. Ellie, like you great have, app. Oh, I'm sorry, Dave, go ahead. I just said it looks like a great app, great idea. Thank you. And, and you don't know, Allie, but for Dave to say that, you just got the, <laughs> the whole blessing. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> this, is, this is the tech genius. Um, but Allie, one of the things I wanted to talk about were different types of transportation, if you could kind of address some of that. Like one of the things that isn't available everywhere in the country. So I want everybody to understand the difference between door to door, meaning you come out of your door to get into something, they drop you off and you have to go into another door. There's another type of transportation called door through door. Right. This is when you would need assistance, right? So that sprained ankle, right? And you have to go to the mm -hmm. doctor for a follow up or whatever. And you need somebody to help you to enter, to go through your door, to help you get out of your door into the transportation mode. And then when you arrive, they help you get through the door and to say the doctor. So that is something that's not available all over the country. There's Silver Ride and in California and you know different ones. But do we have any of those, Allie, here in Colorado? We do, absolutely. And they are featured on the app. So in those list of secondary questions that you are able to answer but are not required, um, one of the questions says accommodations. And from there, you can choose wheelchair, wheelchair accessible vehicle or door to door, door through door, or curbside. And so by answering that, if you need door through door service and you just click that on the drop down menu, then your results will only include uh, resources that have door through door service. Yeah, and then when you have door through door service, there's other things to, to ask for, you know? So when once you've connected with the company, some door through door will stay with you through the appointment. Others will right. leave and then you have to contact them to come back and pick you up. So you, you would want to say, you know, what, is, what specifically are the logistics in terms of how you work when you're doing a door through door um, service? And then of course, what does it cost? <laughs> Right. <laughs> it, it might even be worth an icon like the wheelchair one. Hmm. That's an idea as well. Yeah, like Superman flying through the door. <laughs> 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 
So when you click on any result that comes up on the results stream, in the details, it will tell you if they offer door-through-door -door service. And then in the about it, I'm almost positive that Carol has added in um, the type of door-through-door -door and other services that they offer. Um, I'll use colonoscopy appointments as an example because we created this app to basically mimic an information and assistance line phone call uh, that Dr. Mack does a lot of. And we get a lot of calls from patients who are going in for a colonoscopy or any other procedure where they need to be under anesthesia. Um, and so we have those services which are certified to handle patients when they're under anesthesia and also offer that door through door service to make sure that they get to the inside of their home or wherever their destination is safely while they're under the anesthesia. Oh, that is, that's wonderful. That is so wonderful to hear. You know, that these are the kinds of things that have been gaps in service for so long. And uh, just to see, Allie, all the attention to detail that Dr. Mack has put into this is, is amazing. Um, so, yeah. so far, what we all know is great. And, and I think that having the understanding of the different types of transportation available to those of us over 60, um, you know, even if everything's fine now and we can get ourselves around, but like we said earlier, you know, if that event comes up, uh, you know, something that's not long lasting, but, uh, you know, is, is uh, incapacitating in some way in terms of you getting yourself from point A to point B. This is just marvelous. And, and I think too, Stella, you had mentioned, you know, about getting this around and, you know, and also you, Lori, too, about different agencies. You know, this is also something that we just even need to pass on to friends um, as well, because I think that, you know, you know, when you tell an agency, you know, all of us, you know, I, I'll put myself in the agency bucket. I send it out to 17, over 1,700 people every week, my newsletter. But when I look at the open rate, it's so much lower than the 1,700 or the click-through rate that people are really into it and reading it. So we still have to use word of mouth uh, as much as we do, you know, to publicize it, those of us who have it, that and even larger databases, um, you know, to get the word out. Uh, and one of the things about the news and, you know, getting it in the media, it's tough because especially when it's on TV, if you're not paying deep attention, uh, it, you know, blows by us and, uh, you know, we don't necessarily catch everything. So yeah, let's try to really help because this is, this is life changing. Mm -hmm. Allie, another possibility would be like a third tier of publicity would be neighborhood associations or uh -huh. different neighborhood alliances. Oh, right. I'm working with the East Colfax Community Coalition, which is they're, they're together specifically to work with the city on a neighborhood plan and to fight some of the gentrification that may come in. But it's a neighborhood of immigrants and there are many, many um, poor people who are being impacted now by COVID, as well as there's one woman who is disabled, um, is always advocating for the disabled. She'd be a great person. I will get this in her hands, but I will take this to that community and then it gets disseminated, you know, by word of mouth. Yes, I, that would be awesome. Another place is next door. Getting it, yes. is, get some people to sprinkle it on next door. Yeah, I'll do that too. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Another um, what about different languages? So we are currently working on, so we built this app using some grant funding from the Next 50 initiative. Mm -hmm. And the second part of our rollout for the app includes an update that should allow users to use whatever language they want and have the page translate for them. Marvelous. Mm -hmm. Uh, Allie, there's one other place uh, that you might want to think of uh, putting the word out, and, and those are, are senior citizens' centers. 
Mm. Absolutely. Because a lot of people congregate there. Some come for breakfast, lunch, some for dinner. They have different programs there. And, you know, maybe uh, posting flyers or actually going, having someone go into the center and speak, you know, to the director about uh, your app. I think that would really go over really well. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We are yeah. working Possibly. on that right now. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Allie, when you talk about different languages, what's the range of languages you're thinking of? Um, our goal is to have it be available in literally any language. Okay. Um, we are working with different types of software to see if we can have something that <coughs> translate work in the app to say, like, what language would you like this in and have them select from pretty much the exact same type of drop down menu as Google Translate would. That's great because in, in this particular neighborhood in East Colfax, it's mostly largely people from Africa. And there are languages I've never heard of. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, in Africa. And Allie, I have a suggestion too. Um, you might even want to go to your churches, even though they're not meeting like they used to. Mm -hmm still have some kind of, uh, some form of communication that they can get to their congregation. So you can also put it out in churches too. Absolutely. And a mm -hmm. exciting way that we are promoting this app is I'm one of two program managers at Dr. Mac and the other program manager, my wonderful coworker Latoya, is working on a metro area transit training program where she is going to be taking very small groups of mostly immigrants and refugees. That's like the specific goal for that project and communities where people feel uncomfortable using public transit. And she's just kind of taking them through the process and making sure that they're comfortable using it. They know what, what discounts are available. They're mm -hmm. more comfortable getting on the bus, swiping the card, things like that, and just kind of taking some of the uncertainty out of the possibility of using public transportation. So we're very excited about that. And sure. I'm mentioning her program when I'm doing mine and she's mentioning mine while she's doing hers. So we're kind of just sharing the wealth and trying mm -hmm. to get more access to transportation in communities that need it. Right, right, good. Ellie, is this up and running reliably? Is it too soon to be telling people about it? Uh, no, I don't think it's too soon. We are definitely looking for feedback. So if there are any issues, feel free to just, again, I have my email in the chat box, feel free to send them to me. And we are constantly looking at what people are saying and what they say that they feel the app would work better with, things of that nature. I personally have been testing the app for several weeks now. And it's honestly, it started off a little rough, but we have fixed most of the issues. And it's been working well when I've been using it and when my coworkers have been testing it as well. Um, I'll tell you a funny story. When it first launched, it actually told my coworker that she could take the R line to Montana. So <laughs> we fixed that. <laughs> and your coworker hasn't been seen since. She's <laughs> missing in action. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, I think the app is functioning in the way that we intended it to at the moment, and we are continuing to improve the function of it as we speak, and we are really looking for feedback. Awesome. This we is so be happy to help you, um, without a doubt. So mm -hmm. we make sure we, we spread the word. And yeah, and then like I said, I'll, I'll, and I'll copy you and Kate and everybody on everything so they know what we're, we're up to. About. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Were there any other questions that I can help address or just any other topics that you guys want to ask me about in relation to what Dr. Mack is trying to do? Yeah, what other efforts are you involved in other than the getting their guide and the, um, the app itself? So like I mentioned, we are uh, putting together our Metro Area Transit Training Program. So that will be our next big thing that should be happening starting in September, I believe. Um, so I will go ahead and leave my coworker Latoya's email in the chat as well if you are interested 
And please put exactly what that's called so we can refer to that as well. Yes. And contact, I'll reach out to her in September. Go ahead, Dave. You're on mute. <laughs> of course. Sorry. Um, I was just wondering if you're going to do an iPad version of this. Uh, yes, it is. I, I believe if you uh, download it on an iPad from the App Store that it should be available for that. Yeah, that might be easier for um, certain people to, to use or if they don't have a smartphone, but they have an iPad. Um, yeah, we'll some, some apps tablet. take advantage of the larger space on right. tablets to uh, give you more information. Some of them just blow up the screen of the phone. Yeah. yeah. And we do also have copies of our Getting Their Guide online. Um, there is a large print version as well. So if people don't have access to a smartphone, they can go to our website, which I will put in the chat box right now. And they can, whoops. <laughs> um, so they can access the Getting Their Guide from a Computer if they don't have a smartphone. And again, that's available in large print as well. Um, and other than that, Dr. Mack also provides, um, once a month we do different training sessions, kind of like Senior Planet does um, in the way that my coworker, Carol, uh, hosts different types of training sessions. Um, I'll give an example. Our last one was about um, ADA service animals and how they correctly apply to public transportation and taking them places as well. And just the logistics of all of that and the rules and everything. And we are having one next week that's on all types of transportation options that will basically just be us going over the almost entirety of the getting their guide and just letting people know the different types of transportation and the different kinds of options that they have for certain situations. And how long do those last approximately? Um, they're normally about an hour and a half. Hour and a half, okay. And how does one find them? On your website, I presume. Is it? Yes, the and we also have a um, weekly newsletter that we call the Extra Dose. Uh, so if any of you guys would like to be added to that mailing list, we, we talk about our upcoming events as well as other upcoming events from older adults agencies in the area. We include Senior Planet events a lot. Um, so if any of you guys would like to be added to that list, just put your email in the chat box and I will get you subscribed to that. And it always has a link to the training session and how to get in contact with everybody as well. Yeah, and you know what I will do is, um, here, let me show you, just give, I'm gonna share my screen for a second. So I'm in the process of um, doing the, the newsletter here um, that'll go out later today. But down at the very bottom, um, I put resources here so Allie, I'll add um, Dr. Mack and the transportation, the link. Um, oh, that would be wonderful. Thank you so, so much. This will, will sit there. Um, so we, they'll be able to have access to that on a weekly basis as well. And then I will put, uh, I'll put the recording in, um, you know, up more up at the top here so that they'll get uh, the information as well. So we'll, we'll, Keep, we'll keep it in an ongoing format as well as just telling about what we did today. That would be wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. What is the link to uh, where this is on your website? Because I don't see it. Um, to where? Do you have, do you have information about the app on your website? Because I don't see it. Let me see. Yeah. So Dr. Mack actually had an older app that was not nearly as comprehensive as the one that we have recently launched. So we are working on changing up that page, but let me just check and see. Oh, I see. Get down a little bit. There's a thing about getting there. Yes. 
cool. Great, thank you. Absolutely. So wait a minute, where where are you on the website? The, or is it, 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 it's page? down like on a second page sort of thing. In the middle. Oh, getting their app. Okay, good. Yeah, once you do the full release, you might want to push that higher. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, this is great because I can do it with two links there. I can do the app. Okay, I see it says for iPhone, iPad, and, and, uh, and Android. But then I can also say, you know, for the paper version, so to speak, um, and then put the one for the getting the regular getting their guide. And since we are phasing out production of paper getting their guides, we have a lot, we have a lot that we are trying to get spread out just because we have so many left. Um, so if any of you guys are interested in getting physical paper copies of our getting their guides, we would be happy to send you some. Yeah, I was gonna say, we'll take more <laughs> at the center, but nobody's going there. <laughs> that won't work. Doctor's offices, though. I wonder if we could... Grocery talk. stores. Grocery stores, yeah. At the doorway to grocery stores. Pharmacies. People are coming in there. Medical, yeah. medical groups. Medical groups and, and hospitals. Yes, absolutely. They've, we've been working with them, and they've taken a lot off our hands, but I believe we have somewhere around 5,000 more. To <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, when we <laughs> shut down, they don't get taken like they normally did. Uh, uh -oh. How long has this been in existence? How long has it been operating? You've been actually operating. Uh, Dr. Mack as an organization or the app? Well, the availability of getting these rides. I mean, the availability of utilizing the app, I guess. Um, well, it officially launched the app June 1st, but in September, Dr. Mack as an organization will be celebrating our 15-year anniversary. Really? Oh, really? Okay. Yes. How is yeah. it funded? Is, it, is there federal funds that feed into it as well as regional and uh, special funds? How, how is it funded? So we are a nonprofit and we are mostly funded by grants that come from local resources such as Dr. Cog and the Next 50 Initiative. Okay. Yeah, just the same way we are. They're, they're okay. going through grants. Where are you located in Denver? Our current office space is 190 East 9th downtown, but I believe we will be giving up that office space and just continuing to work remotely. Mm -hmm. hmm. Really? Yeah, that's, that's great. Believe me, working remotely is the new norm. Yeah. <laughs> You know, well, we were discussing that yesterday, how, you know, nobody wants this, the virtual, it's not to say that people don't want to be back together, but <laughs> no one wants the virtual to go away either, because it's right. sort of nice when, whether it's weather or you just don't feel like it, right. uh, you can still get so much richness in your life. Mm -hmm. uh, doing this and think about all the things we've learned mm. over so this these three months it's just been incredible to be so tuned in and getting all these you know tidbits of information that have just been uh, uh, glorious and and in many cases you know and it is a life-changing situation for for all of us yes because of the circumstance but I think a lot of people are starting to look at the positives you know, yeah. that are coming to their life like, look at what that's you. I just read an article yesterday saying, hold on, don't go everybody totally virtual so fast, because there's also data that you get different work, more creative when you collaborate, and, and that a lot of things happen in the hallway, on the way to lunch, et cetera, et cetera. So, I mean, I can see a mixed model of working virtually and once a week having, um, like in one of these suites where you can rent an office or something once mm -hmm. a week all working together or something something like that 
Well, it's true. Even when you attend a conference, more things happen um, at a conference in the lobby of the hotel and the hallways than actually in the sessions. Uh, mm -hmm. So, I mean, not to say that learning isn't important, but when you're conducting business, more business happens that way. And so, yeah, we do need to have in person, but we also can be really creative virtually. <laughs> And when you don't pay for an office, think of all the money you can put into extra. Well, brick and mortar, <laughs> brick and mortar is the biggest expense there is. No. Madeline, were you going to say something? No. <laughs> <laughs> Virginia. I'm just, I'm just listening. <laughs> so any other comments or questions? One, maybe, Allie, this, I mean, my, I feel like my head is popcorn inside. Bing, 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 bing. Um, you probably are connected to a lot of organizations that serve seniors or serve people with special transportation needs. And I, do you have a list of them as I a do. networking thing? I do. Do you? Okay. I have every organization associated with aging in the world, oh. most of the national and many, uh, my work used to be global. So I had a lot of worldwide uh, organizations, but um, also have quite a bit um, in terms of Denver or regional. I'd love to get that list, Judy. Yeah, wouldn't everybody? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lori, I'll give it to you. <laughs> and that will be how many dollars? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You just need to put that together. <laughs> a few casserole dinners, who knows, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my, that through my career was my golden ticket, you know, mm -hmm. when you have that kind of a database. Yeah. But now, um, at the end, so I don't care anymore. <laughs> so happy to give it she's oh, she's you're entering a new chapter. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll take uh, local ones. Go ahead. Yeah. She's wanted on the wanted list. <laughs> 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 no, one of my um, 